first of all, today is the Sunday of what the church called the Good Shepherd. How many of you raise your hand if you understand the concept of what a shepherd means? Raise your hand. Okay, so some of you do, some of you don't. So let me take a little background. A shepherd means somebody who tends the sheep, right? They call shepherd. Or tend somewhat some of the animals in the field. When I grew up in Vietnam, I did not, we did not have any sheep to tend. And we did not, you know, in Vietnam, they use agriculture. It's not like the Mangas family here, that they sit in an air-conditioned uh, machine and drive in a drive and cut the grass and, you know, all those amazing, miraculous things. In Vietnam, we do agriculture by using the two water buffalo. You know what I'm talking about? And they pull it in front and you got to use your strength and push it down from the back to cultivate the land. Now we was poor, as you know, I grew up 17 years in Vietnam, when I back hungry every night. And uh, uh, water buffalo is like the whole, whatever, the whole things that you have, you know, to be wealthy if you have a cup or two water buffalo. So we didn't have it. But some of the wealthy people in the village, they had it. And because they're wealthy, they normally hire people to go tend the, the water buffalo for them. You see what I'm trying to say? Take them out of the field, let them eat the grass, drink the waters, and do all those things. At that time, I was seven graders, which means I was about 13 years old. I was hired to do that. So every day after school, I came home, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's where I cut about, this ran from 8 to 11 of the water buffalo, I took them out into the field, keep an eyes on them, making sure they're there, let them eat, let them drink, and in the evening, I lead them back home to that owner's house, I tie them down and tell them that all the water buffalo has now safely returned to the gate, close the gate, and then I go on with my life. I did that for many years. As a shepherd, in a way, in that sense, I understand if I lost one of them, it means I could lose my life. It costs a lot. And if my whole family sell the house that we was living in, or a shed, whatever you call that, we still don't have enough money to pay for that lost water of them. So I was very careful. I want to make sure that not only I am going to lose any of them, but I want to make sure I keep my job by feeding them well so they can be a fasten. You know what I mean? So they can be strong, so they can be wonderful, and the owner would be happy so I can keep my job. And some way I relate that to who am I today? In a different sense. I am being put here. I'm glad that I'm being put here, okay? Not in the sense that I am regrettably being here. No, I rejoicingly that I am being put here by the bishops of Savannah to be the shepherd. I told Bishop, this is your people, it's not mine. Not my name, this is your building, Bishop, it's not under my name either. If it's under my name, probably I sell it and buy the window one went down the street. So I am, in a sense, I see that one. You see, he trusted me to tender the care of all of you being here. And I try my best to make sure that you are well fed. That I can do whatever to make it sure that I don't lose one of you. It's always hard to see one of the people well up. It's perched on the shepherd's part. And you know, the shepherd has his own problem too. Sometimes he just say the thing that he shouldn't do. Sometimes he hit the, 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 well, I used to poke the water buffalo all the time, but they don't behave, you know what I mean? And in Vietnam, let me tell you how we do that. We got a two by four, you know, little thing, and in the end, we put some nails at that. See what I'm trying to do? And if they don't behave, that's what you poke them. <laughs> well, that's how we do it in Vietnam. Okay? And no doubt, sometimes if they need it, but sometimes just because I haven't fun. <laughs> Remember, I was a 13 years old little kid. You know what I mean? You gotta 
part of that greatness. You know, when the bishop came here last uh, Wednesday for the uh, confirmation, you know, I, I feel good. I feel like I'm almost like a